Well, look what just showed up in the mail. Let's have some fun. Let's see what we have to do to put it together. Okay, English, looks good, Spanish, parts, pieces, and everything else that goes with it, that's fine. Let's take a good look at what's going on here. Basic weather stripping, bolt holder, it's going to go with the lid, various straps. Sling. Damn, pretty tough. All right, that'll help. What else we got here? The other part of the bolt holder. Accessory straps, definitely for the lid. Another strap for tie down. Okay, I can make that work. Which one of these is which? They're both the same. Step one. Insert the foam into the rear bottom base neck channel. Well, that obviously must go down inside of here in this groove. That would make it weatherproof. Okay, so I'll take care of that right now. All right, peel off the stickies. Glue seems to be okay. Let's start about halfway. It's not too bad. We'll just fold this in half, find center, lay it in there, walk one side up and in, walk the other side up and in. Doesn't seem too difficult. Looks like I've got a little razor trimming to do. Okay, done. We'll just leave that hanging for now. Okay, now for the neck, same thing again. Peel your paper. Fold the sticky side out, approximately halfway. Foam to foam. Find the halfway point. Lay it in the groove. Work it up. Okay, that should be it. Simple, easy, pretty well thought out. On the list, it says insert the neck channel. Well, okay, base the unit. Let's just slide it in here for now. Looks like it's going to be fine. A little bit of razor slicing going on. We need to test fit it first to make sure that the cross is even going to fit. What is my length? Well, it's not going to fit there. That's for sure. And this is the Ghost 350. So we're going to have to adjust it. Looks like that go on another one. How far will it have to go? There it is right there. When the pads are in, it should sit up pretty much level. It's got something to stop against. Might need some foam back here. But that's it right there. So what's it going to take? Secure tail stock with bolts, washers, and nylock nuts. Okay. Well, let's film it. Okay, so here we are. We're back at mounting this all together. And this is at step four. It says to secure the tail stock with bolts, washers, and nylock nuts, H. Well, that's not a problem. This is the nuts and bolts they give you. Here's a little nylock nut. As you can see, they're pretty small. But if you read ahead to Secure Strap Retainers Part 5, Strap Retainers, uh, 
Yeah, uh, guess what's missing here, folks? There are no strap retainers. So, these 12 inch straps here that are supposed to thread inside these strap retainers, there's nothing here to now secure the tail end of the crossbow into the case. The entire little screw kit they give you, and the rest of the box is full of foam. There's some nylon, there's bolt retainer tool, this little tool here, and uh, got parts missing already. And I've looked around and there's nothing here anywhere in any of the cases or boxes or parts. I've got all the foam, I've verified that. So we have a problem um, of short parts. Let me see what I could do back in a minute. Okay, so I've determined that the parts are missing. There's nothing I could do about that now. Obviously, the butt stock of the crossbow will not be going in. We won't be getting the strap in there right now. There's nothing I can do about it. So, moving on. Take this little washer and this little bolt. Drop it down through here. The trick is now I've got to cut the video. I've got to get up underneath here and try to attach this little micro nylock nut to the underside of that. All in one motion. Be right back when it's done. Okay, so that just took a few minutes. The problem is, is this little tiny tool they give you, which is supposed to hold the nut on the underside, doesn't hold the nut. The nut just spins freely in there. So you're gonna have to get yourself a little eight millimeter screwdriver with a socket that's deep enough to allow you to properly tighten it up. This will be an aftermarket thing because right now a socket won't fit in there to tighten these up anymore. And as you can see, it spins freely. So the nylock nut never got tight. I'm missing the bolt straps for this Velcro piece back here. We're going to move on. Moving on right now is to put in the appropriate foam inserts, which I have right here. Appropriate, huh? Well, let's just assume one goes here. Let's assume one goes here. Let's do a test fit and make sure it works. Knowing what we know. Okay. That's pretty close. Doesn't really have for any protection there. Can't get one there because apparently that's where I would probably strap it. And looking at this, there's no way that this strap is ever going to work, period, anyway. It's way too short. Even if I had it in the forward area here to go through the thumb hole, there would be no physical way to ever make it wrap up correctly. Uh, nor would it ever go around the back side because it's just too short and that's 12 inches. So, so far for the Ghost 350, I'm coming up short. Hopefully we can make it work. This looks like this is going to fit back here and take up some space. And we may have to trim that, hard to say right now. Moving on. Next step, turn the largest piece of shape foam F to best fit into the depression base. Oh, okay. So it's going to go underneath here. Looks like it's going to go underneath and towards the bottom according to this really grainy picture. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, look at the lid. Step 9. Thread 10 inch straps through center slots of male female ends of arms end arms of bow. Okay, well, we're going to get that then. They're supposed to go somewhere over here. There's supposed to be some slots. We'll take a look at that in just a second.